Hi everyone, Scorp here. Just getting back to, uh, just picking back up on Baldur's Gate 3, where we left off yesterday. Um, we probably should talk to our companions. Um, since they probably have stuff that they want to talk about. Good time for a chat. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Oof. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? Mm. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think finding this Halcyn is our best bet. If we're truly desperate, we can try to convince that goblin gut in assisting us. As for this gift crash, well... If your kind can actually save us, I stand to be corrected. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Perhaps, perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. Good enough. Nothing too special it didn't look like. Vesterian over here <laughs> reading. What can I do for you? Nothing really. Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. So. Okay. None of those were great options, so I think we're gonna just. Um, we should end the day. Oh, hopefully, we don't get attacked tonight. Well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well... Blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I don't want to do any of these. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals, boars, deer, Kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, 
I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Why did they set the difficulty class to two? I... What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat, the only thing your master lets you eat. At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me, and you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice, not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Ah, of course. I shall be gentle as a babe. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? Oh my. It's like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Okay. Get him to stop before he kills you, I assume. Hmm? Oh, of course. That. That was amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. <coughs> you watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. You know, I could have just hunted down like some deer for him. Oof, that's unfortunate. Oh, and I have a nice red aura. Good morning. How do you feel? Be grateful I'm not a true vampire, then. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn like my good self all of a vampire's hunger but few of their powers oh no i should be cinders in this light i hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here 
Someone or something wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. Hi. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. Mm -hmm. A vampire. Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. <laughs> oh For my sake, he best not develop an appetite for Gith Yankee. She's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. There, now. <laughs> we're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Interesting having Asterion in your party. Um, also, it looks like we're like pretty far down the uh, romancing Asterion plan. Well, I think we are done. We can leave camp. We've done enough talking to our allies. Oh yeah, we were up here. Um, so I'm gonna have Bloodless for a while. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to fix that, but... Master Starion, but give me so At much some point, but... And I'll drive a stake through your heart. No, oh, we hadn't even do done the looting. Um, we definitely did a number on um, these fights yesterday, so. Uh, also, I do need to have her be the one that loots all this stuff. Because I have no inventory space. Hopefully the bloodless just lasts for one day or something. I'm actually kind of surprised that um, Shadowheart wasn't pretty mad about um, me uh, accepting the vampire as much as I did. She seems much more like a goody two-shoes than um, I keep in a lot of parties. But sometimes you just have to have... Um, I mean, we haven't actually found anybody else for our party yet, so it's just these four for now. If I've already started the romance toward Osterian, I might as well keep him in my party. Um, I do like rogues. Rogues are good in D&D 5th edition, so... Where is that sound coming from? Help! Where does somebody need help at? Oh, he's on the Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We we should 
you keep moving. Let's uh, hit the brake lever. Okay, let's go talk to. Breathe deep and move. This person. Cut me loose. Free me and find out. Uh, no. What are you waiting? Come on! What are you waiting for? Oh, why not? Oh, bag of Kamara. There's pustulant thugs. That's, well, that's a pretty brutal thing to do to somebody. Whatever you are. As expected, coercion by the book. Take my pack if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. That's not but great. I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. Not the greatest line. I am ready. Oh, great. I am gonna, I really am gonna have to um, just sell a pile of stuff. I have absolutely collected a whole bunch of stuff. Not, but... Easiest way in there, but okay. So we figured out helping the person on the windmill. What's this wooden hatch? Oh, right here. Oh my. What do we have down here? Uh... Uh, this is going to a Asterion. Usually, gear like this is heavy, so... Okay, um... 
He can take dash as a bonus action, so... Oh, that's awful. They're medium armor. Um, let's give him to Shadowheart then. Don't touch me. Shadowheart, you're going to equip those. I don't plan to do much dashing with her, but I'll take this way. It's not bad. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Let's see here. Done everything over here. Um, there is more to this village that um, we probably are going to end up fighting. Um, we are fully healed though. Um, we also have this teleport sigil. So... We go want to go back to there. We can go back to the Emerald Grove and sell some stuff. Since we have um we have just collected way too much stuff that we can't really use. So, we'll just go back over here and sell stuff real quick. Turns out when you slaughter an entire encampment of goblins, every single one of them has weapons you can pick up and sell. Let's see what I can learn. Refugees. Adventurers, well met. And thank you for beating. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. Just yeah. some bits and bobs I no longer need. I would like gold, sir. These javelins. Um, I'm using a bow for now, so since I don't have to swap weapons in this game. Ooh, that's really good. Um, that might be good for my character. Um, this is light armor. We'll give it to also let's get rid of the rotten food Although I think that might actually still be useful, but... These rings look expensive and they look like they do nothing, so I think I assume we just sell them. I'm still learning as we go, so... Uh, yeah, also if anyone knows a better way to sell all of this junk... Please leave me a comment. I don't think we need a smoking pipe.
Okay. The, this looks like pretty good. I don't think we need anything particularly right now, so I'm just getting rid of stuff. Sylvanas, guide your path. Um, Still breathing, despite everything. And we can also sell need from anything else? you. Of course, but please remember, you're not the only one in need. Yeah. Um. I told you really, I'm just helping out by selling stuff. Plenty of stuff in my inventory to just sell, so. I already have enough javelins on other people. Okay, um, I think that's kind of good for my inventory. Um, let's see. Yeah, nothing really. Oh, I'm gonna actually have to buy something. Um... take one of those. Um, that's not a bad thing to have an extra scroll of, so... Okay. Sylvanas, be with you. See, um, I'll go ahead and equip this. Um, and then I had another one. Uh, this is good enough for now. Okay, I think we've kind of sorted out our, um, some of our issues. Let's go back to the Blighted Village. Fixing carry weight problems. Um, this looks like a nasty fight. Three level four enemies. We're all level three. Something I'd probably prefer to avoid. Um, let's go back and do this, since here we go. Someone's left a trap out for us. Oh dear. Okay, we found a key for this. Um. 
I wanted to go to where my marker said we need a shovel. So, we'll go over there. And let the auto-pathing do its job. Since we've already cleared out most of this area. Or all of this area. Oh, I could have teleported to this. Hmm. Surprised the game doesn't just auto teleport you. Actually, that would be annoying. Because there would be a time where you don't want that to happen. I said I needed it somewhere. Oh, here. Cool. It has an animation. And it's a bomb. Okay, let's go down here. Um, I think we'll um, get ourselves to where we were in a much earlier episode, um, ready to explore this place. And then, since we now know that we have like seven or so days to figure stuff out. Probably like five now. So um, I can go down here and explore this set of ruins, which should be level three, um, and get ourselves pretty close to level four, I think, um, with this exploration. And then with that, we can... Oh, hey, that's where we came in. Um, from that other place. Um, there's a trap right there that we... There. There are a lot of traps in here. Uh, no, I don't want to. Um, Asterion, you are going to disarm this. Um, yeah, that's a plus eight to disarm something that's... Got a relatively low deck, uh, no DC, so... Ooh, what is that? is this? Oh, it's a spear. Okay. Um, terrifying. Light on my feet. I'm gonna have... Does my cleric know... You are you the one that knows Mage Hand? You are not. Mage hand. Perfect. Okay, let's see if I can get Asterion to do this. Okay. Well, let me put my party back together, and I am going to save here and say thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.